Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on client-side redirection. So in this video I'm going to be showing you two ways that you can do client-side redirection. The first is a pure HTML solution and the second is one using JavaScript where you can add a countdown until the redirection occurs. So I have an index.html file here. Let's start with a pure HTML solution. So I'm just going to create some boilerplate code here to begin with. So now what I'm going to do to create the redirection with HTML is create another meta tag here with a HTTP equiv attribute. And this attribute tells the browser something about the page. So what I'm going to enter as a value here is refresh. So this is telling the browser to refresh the page and in content, the value so you enter two arguments here. The first one is the time until the refresh occurs. So if you just enter the value um, 30 here, the page will refresh every 30 seconds, but with redirecting, so you probably want that to be instant or within a few seconds. So I'm going to enter zero for instant redirection to begin with. And the second argument is the URL that you want to redirect to. So in this case, I'm just going to redirect to Google. And that is all you need to do. This should now be immediately redirecting to Google. So I'll open this in the browser and we'll see what happens. So you can see instantly redirecting. Now, notice that I can't press back here. It's actually deleted the redirection page from the history altogether. So that's probably what you want. If it's immediate redirection, you probably don't want the user to be able to go back to the page. Now you can also add a delay using the HTML solution. So if I head back to my file and add a delay here, so this is going to be in seconds, it's going to delay it, the redirection by that number of seconds. So I'll open this again. So we have a slight delay here and then we end up at Google again. So that is the pure HTML solution. Now you could also do this with JavaScript and it's going to mimic the behavior, but what we're going to be able to do is also add a countdown until the redirect occurs. So I'm going to get rid of this meta tag here because I don't need it anymore. I want to control the redirection with JavaScript and I'm going to start by creating a little bit of HTML in the body going to create a generic message saying um, redirecting to and then I'm going to create a span element here with an ID of URL and I'm going to dynamically insert the value of the URL that's being redirected to here using JavaScript and then also I'll create a span with an ID of countdown so again I can dynamically insert the number of seconds until the countdown is going to occur so that's it for the HTML now in JavaScript first thing I want to do is to select both of these spans so first of all document get element by ID the first one has an ID of URL the second one has a URL of countdown. And I'll just make sure I have a better semicolon at the end of each. And I'm going to give, I'm going to save the URL element in a variable called URL and countdown in a variable called countdown. Now, what I want to do is to set the countdown value. So I'll create a variable called countdown value. And this is going to be the number of seconds that you want to count down from. So I'm going to say five seconds. And I want to immediately print that value in this span. So I can do that by saying countdown dot text content equals countdown value. So immediately when the page is loaded, the value is going to be five. 
And I also want to do the same for the URL value. So I haven't specified a URL yet. So let me do that now. So I'll do Google again. So redirecting to google.com. And actually I have to call that URL value because I'm saving the URL span element in a variable called URL already. And then I set the text content of that element to the new URL value. Okay, so that deals with the page when it first loads, but now I need to create a countdown. So I'll do that with set interval. And set interval accepts a function that's going to be run. In this case, it's going to be every second. Uh, but it's not going to be run initially. So the first run is going to be after a second, which is why I set the uh, countdown value initially to five. So what I'm going to want to do is every second, I'm going to want to subtract one from countdown value. And then I'm going to want to write that value to be the new value of the countdown span. Okay, so that deals with the countdown. Now what I'm going to want to do is also create a timeout that's going to handle the actual redirection. So this is going to run. So it works in the same way as set interval, but it's just going to run once after a delay. Now I want this to be five times 1000 milliseconds, so five seconds. And what I want to happen is I want to call window.location.replace. Okay, and that's going to replace the URL of the current page with a new one. And I want the value of that to be a URL value. Okay, let's now see if this is working. I'm going to save and open the browser again. So it's telling me that it's redirecting to Google in 54321 and we're there. So that is all there is to client side redirection. Which solution you choose, the HTML solution or the JavaScript solution, it's really a matter of personal preference and also whether you want to include the countdown or not because you can only do that using JavaScript. So thank you for watching. If you did find this useful, don't forget to click the like button down below this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this from us, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.